Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Well guys, today I am so excited to be hosting this collaboration and it is entitled My Funny Disastrous Slash Mishap Thanksgiving Collaboration. I know it's a mouthful, but I had to cover all the bases. So this collab this collaboration I invited some of our YouTube sisters to share if they had any funny stories to tell that related to Thanksgiving. You know those stories where um at the time you were like mad or upset, but then when you sat about you sat down and you thought about it, it was actually funny. So that is what this collaboration is about. I'm gonna have a playlist of all the participants and I will link them below and make sure you go and check out their um, check out their sites so that you can hear their funny disastrous mishaps also. So sit back, get your blanket because you know I love to tell stories and I told everyone to do it in six minutes so I need to get going. All right guys so this was story was with Mr. B and I when we first started to date and we probably had been dating maybe like two years and I had invited his family over for Thanksgiving dinner so I had his family some of my friends um my sister's friends as well as um some of my co-workers over to my house and I had made this huge spread I had somebody wanted chitlins now your girl can't cook chitlins well I can cook chitlins but I can't clean them so I told this person you clean the chitlins and I'll cook it. I had, I made some mini quiches for appetizers. I had spinach dip. I had, oh, I had like a ham and turkey and dressing and my, my famous potato salad. I had all this stuff and I had slaved in the kitchen. And so everyone had eaten. We had played games and everything. We had had such a great time. And I was so proud of myself because I had like my boyfriend's family over and I was just, you know, I just really wanted to show them how I do, you know, one style. You know, I had all my good stuff out and my nice plates and my, my fancy dishes and things. And yes, I, I showed out. I let them know how your girl do it. So time went on and people began to leave. And so I, my, one of my uh, best friends, who um, was also my co-worker, was about to leave. And so I said, I'll walk you out to your car. So I literally, so when I left them in the house, everyone was laughing and joking and everything. So I walked her out to the car. And guys, I know I wasn't out there no more than three minutes. She got in the car, walked the drive away, and I come back in. When I come back in the house, food is everywhere, all over my floor. And I am like, what is going on? And then I see them trying to hold Mr. B back in the back, going towards the back of the apartment. And then I see his sister, she was, they were yelling at her and she was trying to get to him. And I'm like, what is going on? Guys they got into an argument and she wanted to fight oh my gosh i was like oh no we're not about to do none of that in here i don't know how y'all get down at y'all parties but we're not about to do that in here but then i turned around and things had you know kind of settled down but then i turned around guys and I saw all of my hard work or whatever, what was left of it. Some of it was on the floor. So you know your girl lost it. And I was about to carve something. I think it was a piece of ham or something. And I had a knife in my hand. And I was shaking so bad. And next thing I knew, I threw the knife and it went and it stuck into the wall just like this. And when it stuck into the wall, it went, everyone saw it. And my in-laws, they jumped up and they said, well, time to go. 
And by then, I was like, everybody out. Everybody get out the house. I can't believe you did this to me. I did all this work and preparation to make things nice for you. And this is what you do. Everybody get out the house. I even kicked Mr. B out the house. I didn't care who it was. Everybody who was in that house who did not live there had to go. I kicked everybody out. So, I they go out and I kick everybody out. So, they're out in the courtyard and they're trying to explain to me about what happened. And I didn't care. I didn't care about, I didn't care none about none of that. So, Mr. B, uh, my mother-in-law, says to him, Boy, I like your girlfriend and all. She cooked real good. But you be careful around her, baby. Because, woo, that girl, she got a mean streak. You better watch yourself. And I just thought that was so funny. And so now, whenever something happens with Mr. B and I, and he was like, my mama told me to watch you. And I was like, oh my gosh. That, that is this. I just thought it was so funny. Because it's like as soon as the knife went and it just stuck into the wall and everybody immediately jumped up. And they said, oh, it's time to go. And you could just see them. Everybody was rushing out the house and I had told everybody to leave. Everyone was rushing out the house. But we talk about that now and it is so funny to us because they were, they were just like, we just thought that she was just a nice little southern girl. I am. But don't you tell my stuff. Don't you don't you tell my plates. So guys, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You know, I always have a story to tell. And that was mine. I thought it, it was like so funny. And every time around, the, you know, this time of year, someone always brings that up. So I hope you enjoyed this story. And I'm like at seven minutes and two seconds. So I guess I'm going to go. If you have had some type of disastrous funny Thanksgiving mishap that you would like to share, please do so. Let me know what it was below and we can all laugh and I will communicate with you. Make sure you check out the ladies who participated in this collaboration. And don't forget, you know what I always say, the next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.